Hi guys, um, my name is San Jacob Ta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York, and today I want to do, do another video on the subject of atrial fibrillation, and in particular, um, a subject um, about atrial fibrillation and sex, which is a bit of a, uh, an embarrassing subject for a lot of patients who have atrial fibrillation, and therefore they may um, suffer in silence without actually talking to their doctor about it. For fear of embarrassment so um, I thought I'd try and uh, do a little quick video on this okay um, patients with atrial fibrillation may experience sexual problems for three main reasons number one anxiety about whether they may be harming their heart or risking making their AF worse or bringing on an attack of AF number two the comorbidities themselves can also cause sexual dysfunction. So a lot of people with AF have high blood pressure, they have diabetes, they may have heart disease, they may have heart failure. And those conditions in themselves can cause sexual dysfunction. So you don't have to have AF if you just have um, those comorbidities, uh, then that can also cause sexual dysfunction. And the third thing obviously is that the medications that are used sometimes in the treatment of AF can also cause sexual dysfunction, in particular erectile dysfunction in men. Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick video on this just to try and pe put people's mind at ease. Uh, there is no evidence or good reasons why uh, patients with AF cannot or shouldn't have sex. In fact, lack of, lack of sexual activity um, as a consequence of unfounded fear can feed anxiety, cause depression, and often affect emotional health negatively. There's also no really good evidence to say that sex is a trigger for an AF episode. Yes, you will meet people who will say, yes, I had an episode during it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you would have it. Um, certainly when we look at triggers, uh, sex by no means uh, rates highly as a trigger for paroxysms of atrial fibrillation. Okay. Uh, in patients who take beta blockers, beta blockers are often used in AF to control the heart rate, uh, and beta blockers are associated with the side effect of sexual dysfunction. In those people, it may be helpful to switch to another type of beta blocker to see if the erectile dysfunction improves. Of all the beta blockers, the beta blocker, uh, which is associated with the least likelihood of causing erectile dysfunction, is uh, an agent called nebivalol, right? This is associated with a lot less in the way of sexual dysfunction, erectile dysfunction, compared to some of the other beta blockers. Unfortunately, nebivalol is a bit more expensive, so generally GPs use bisoprolol or atenolol or even propranolol. Uh, if you are experiencing it, an easy solution is to go and say, look, I'm experiencing it, can I try nebivalol, which is as good a beta blocker as any other but is associated with a lot in, less in the way of sexual dysfunction. Patients with AF um, can use Viagra safely, uh, provided that there are no other contraindications, such as the concomitant use of nitrates or nicarandal. Uh, so I would recommend that patients consult with their doctor and make sure that there is no other good reason for which Viagra may, may be contra because of which Viagra may be contraindicated, but for AF per se, there is no reason why you can't use Viagra if you are a man and you have erectile dysfunction. So I hope uh, this was useful. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Uh, drop me a line. Well, my website is yorkcardiology.co.uk. As my workload is getting um, more and more, I'm struggling to keep up and answer all the queries. So one way you can get in touch with me is um, send me a message or you can book an appointment to speak to me over Skype. And uh, that way we can have an interactive discussion. I also have a Facebook page, which is Your Cardiology One. Uh, you can also email me or get to my other Facebook page by typing in Your Cardiology at gmail.com on your Facebook um, uh, uh, engine, uh, you know, Facebook search engine. Um, the only other thing I would say is that I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos soon. Uh, and in particular, I'll be putting some videos on my Facebook page, some videos on my YouTube page. The one thing that gives, gives me great happiness is if you'd consider sharing the videos because uh, that just makes me feel so appreciated and empowered. So I'd be very grateful for that. Thank you so much. All the best.